Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this lab is little bit tricky so that's why I'm going to explain each and every point in detail. So I request you please watch the video carefully because if you miss a one single point then you are not able to get a score on that particular task. So first of all just log in with your credentials and once done with this just simply come back over here and here you can see verify domain. Just simply click over here. Now just wait and verify your domain. Then click on this next. And then just simply click on this verify. And it's done. Now you don't have to do anything. Just simply click on this admin. Okay. Now just simply click on this classroom. And here you can see we have to just create two user. So just copy this first name. Copy that. Then click on this hamburger. And here you can see directory. Just simply click over here. Then click on users. Then click on this add new user. Paste the name Maria. And then copy the last name paste over here like this and then click on this add and then click on this add another user like this now for the another name just simply scroll down copy this name alex paste over here now copy the last name and paste over here like this then click on this add new user and then just simply click on done and done so you are done with this part now just simply come on the task number one scroll down a little bit copy this name history just copy this name then click on this organizational unit and then click on this create paste the name and then click on this create just wait and it's done now what you have to do just simply click on this users and here you can see alex and maria just select these two names Okay, do not select this workspace, just select these two names and then click on this more option and then click on change an organization unit like this and here you have to just simply choose history and then click on this continue. Now just simply click on this change, wait for a couple of seconds and if you just simply click on this history, are we able to see? No, just refresh the page, again click on this history. Okay, we are still not able to see, so just wait for a couple of seconds and again refresh the page and again check over here. And so we are now able to see the Maria, no need to worry, just wait for a couple of more seconds and if you just refresh the page again, you are able to see the Alex over here as well. Just simply click on this history, okay. And finally, we are able to see both the user. Now, if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a score on task number one without any issue. Just wait and watch. No need to worry about that because lab take time on task number one to update a score. Just wait for a couple of more minutes and if you just simply And as you can see, after a couple of attempts, I was able to get a score on the task number one. Now we don't have to perform the task number two, just simply come on the task number three. And I request you please watch the video carefully because by performing the task number three, you are able to complete the task number five as well. Okay. So first of all, what you have to do, just simply click on this apps and then click on this additional Google services. Okay. Now just wait and then just click on this unwanted pop-up, just close this and then click on this history. Okay, just simply click on this history. Now just simply scroll down and here you can see classroom. Just simply click on this classroom. Then click over here. Now here you can see teachers permission. Just simply click on this editor and from here you have to choose verify teachers only. Now click on this save. So we are done with the task number three. Okay, now for the task number five what you have to do, just simply click on this gradient access. Just simply click over here and from here click on this checkbox and then click on this save. And it's done. That's mean you are done with the task number five. Now for the task number four what you have to do, just simply click on this Google workspace and then choose a Google Meet like this. Now just simply scroll down and here you can see domain. Just simply click over here and then click over here. Just wait and then click on this editor of domain. Just simply click on this pencil icon 
and here you can see only user from your organization this first one just choose that and then click on the save and it's done now if i just simply check the score for the task number three you will get a score without any issue now just check the score for the task number four just simply click over here you will get a score without any issue only task number one take time to update the score other tasks give the score immediately and if you are not able to get a score on any other particular task just rewind the video and watch and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys